Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. We have something a little bit different for the next coming weeks. The Steam Game Festival started off last week and probably should be ending about the time that this airs. So I figure I will show off a few of the demos. I downloaded several demos from Steam and I think one from itch.io that I would like to show off to you guys. They look like some great games. So we're gonna start with Astalon, The Tears of the Earth. It is a demo that is available probably very shortly on Steam. And these are definitely games that you should wish list and take a look at. There is a tragedy befalling the earth and very few people survived and that's not a good thing eating scraps to survive is definitely not good the planet was dead that's not good either however decades later the ruins of the old world started to reappear like serpents these ruins slithered out see i really don't like it when they there really should be a way to touch a button at the end of this text because most of the time it goes a lot quicker than what I can read it. I really would like a little pause there at the end of each text until I hit a button so that I can know. And it also would help people that on a like a disadvantage kind of way, an accessibility kind of way that may read a little bit slower for any reason. There definitely should be like press button at the end of the text there. That would be much better. But let's go in here, check out the demo, see what Astalon Tears of the Earth is all about. We traveled through hell to get here, but we finally made it. This cold tower, I can feel its evil energy in my soul, stabbing like shards of glass. We are tired, injured, and hungry, but we must continue forward. The lives of the people back home depend on us. But I have no one. Just a promise to a dead man and the ultimate debt. Okay, well this, I again, the aesthetics of some of these retro-inspired games just super impresses me. And right off the bat, it is, I'm really super impressed with the graphics here. Yeah, so we got a little sword swipe and a jump. He has a little bit of a floaty jump, but sometimes that works with the game. Sometimes it doesn't. Let's see what that inspect push up. Press A to jump, but if you press and hold A, you'll jump even higher. So it's the typical, very typical, like a, a, saw, a little jump and then a much higher jump when you hold in. It looks like we've got a little beetle there. I like, I really like the graphics of that beetle. That's pretty cool. And then some kind of flying ghost thing up here that I don't know if we can get to to hit. Oh, no, it definitely comes down. Ah, it comes down to us. That was kind of we're going to go on and see if we can fight him another way in a different way. Let's see what if you cannot accomplish something, always turn to your friends for help. That is a good lesson overall. Each person has varying traits and skills anything is possible with teamwork okay that's cool i love these little lamps here as well is there anybody so we could just switch a character here that's cool so he has like a ranged uh, attack here and let's see what she has oh okay we're definitely going to be here for a while i if you've been around the channel for any length of time you'll know how much i like range attacks especially bows so this is definitely going to be our character she does shoot a little bit slower it looks like but it, i think that is the trade-off for having a ranged attack here it doesn't look like i can get up there yet so i guess we are heading down this way to see what's down here and most of the time with the range attack you can easily get them oh that's an inspect can i turn these blue vines? looks like they would repel projectiles a slashing what okay so let's i guess we got to go up there and get him anyways i wish can i change it anytime 
or I have to be there. It looks like I have to be here to switch characters. I can't just automatically switch them whenever I want. So it has to be at a fireplace and I would hope that that fireplace would be like around the world. Like there'd be fireplaces in diff. Oh shoot, that was bad. There would be just around the world in different places at different times. There would be these fireplace. Oh, they grow back. I was going to go back and get the girl, but I guess I can't. We're going to have to be him for a little while. So I'm going to assume that those, yeah, those fireplaces are just going to be around the world every once in a while. I'm not sure what, the, okay, that opened that way. So we can go back up there and switch to the girl, which is kind of what I want to do anyways. I wonder if the fire doesn't seem to heal us in any way. And it seems like she has something here. So I'm gonna power up it looks like that the other two didn't. Up by her health, she, oh, he has a guard. He has nothing. And she has this little red thing. So I'm wondering if that's some kind of differenting abilities that they each have. Also, they share health, which is going to make a good, I mean, it's good to know that they share health and that's going to be probably a big part of the game. Can I break that? I can destroy that. Can I shoot? any other way like if i press up no i can't shoot up or anything like that so we're going to have to go i'm a little scared about that i think can i shoot ah shoot can i get it that thing killed i am almost dead and that's not good oh gosh can i shoot in the air nope uh there's something strange about these black orbs maybe they can be struck through the wall with magic okay so this seems to be like a little bit of a tutorial thing in which you get a rundown of each character. So we're gonna switch over to the magic guy and see what he does, but we are very low on health, which is not a good thing. And I'm hoping that we will be able to, I can't shoot up or anything here. There, I got him there. Can I kill this guy really quickly? And I'm gonna see if I can kill this eye thing with this guy as best I can. There we go. So what, what, okay. What black, oh, these black orbs over here. Or is it, this is the only magic I have. He shoots very fast. Oh, okay. I've got to be at the exact right spot. It looks like to do that. Have to be right up against the wall. Oh, that opened everything up. That's good. So we're just gonna go ahead and run with him. I don't know if we're gonna need the arrow lady soon or not, but we'll just have to kind of check and see. This does go very fast. I really like how fast his shot goes. That takes us back around to the... past the fireplace. So we're gonna switch her out and see if, I wonder if his is jump is any different than the other people's jump. And I wonder if what happens if we break these, can I break that for anything? Oh, okay. That's good. Well, we got a little bit of health back. I wonder if those ever come back. That's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to watch out for that fire there. Okay, can we run? Yep. And then jump. And we are through. Now there is... I don't think I can jump that high. Oh, I can jump off. It looks like I do have a wall jump. There we go. Look at that. So these crystals here, it looks like... Will give us a little bit of life if we need them, which is going to be definitely good. She also has a little bit of a delay on her bow so when i press it it takes it a second for her to fire kind of like a little bit of an aim and i like that but i'm gonna have to get just get used to that and be ready for that wonder if i could run this really quickly can i shoot on the ladder 
I cannot shoot on the ladder. That's something which is going to be important to know. I would, well, I'm up behind the, there we go. Let's just let him go over that way a little bit. And I wonder if I can get this ghost thing. There we go, before he comes at me too closely. Just trying to not die here. If I shoot them, they'll start turning, coming my way. So you gotta watch that. And let's kill this little beetle. There we go. I'm liking this. This is really cool. Here we go. Exactly what I was thinking. Another fireplace just down the road a little bit to let us switch out characters. And I'm assuming through the kind of through the whole game, that's going to be how it is. As we continue on, they may be short here in the demo, but I'm going to assume that like in the full game it's going to be watch out for that it's going to be much like more expanded i guess you could say i've got to watch out it's kind of hard to hit his eye there but i could probably jump I, if i can get up there quick enough oh i just don't want to get hit he's yeah he's definitely following me and watching me as i go Ah, that little bit of delay can actually be used as you are going up. So that's really cool. So when you're jumping and you push the button, as you go up in the jump, you start drawing and that's how you're gonna get the shot off in the apex of the jump. But I like that draw. That's really kind of cool that it uh, has that, like the draw effect on her. I wanna see, oh! Okay, I found a secret. I did not mean to do that. I was just trying to test out test out the wall jump a little bit, but that's kind of cool. It looks like I found a little secret in here. Let's see if we can get this guy killed. I'm just wondering. Oh, shoot. Okay, jump. There we go. You gotta, yeah, you gotta hit that button a little early to let her draw that bow. I like it. Very cool effect though. Ooh, we got some kind of crystal shard over there it also seems that most of their weapons do the same amount of damage so that's good as well but these guys seem really strong and have a charge attack can i bend down i cannot bend down that's unfortunate there we go i don't know what those little crystals do that i'm picking up but i'm sure it's something important oh i got a shard i got attack plus one Awesome, so that's gonna mean that I got, can I get up there? I'm wondering if I can get up there. I think the wall jump is limited to one jump. So you could only jump off the wall once and the wall jump has the same effect as you could do a whole, a, a large jump or a small jump off the wall. So that's pretty cool. What is this, a terrifying statue? Peers into your soul with dead eyes. Kayula. Kai Kayuli. Kayuli? The statue. It makes me feel sick. I should leave. So Kayuli is one of the characters. Well, that's kind of cool. We gotta go see. Oh, now she's got 12 damage there. That's pretty cool. That's gonna make it a little bit easier probably to kill these guys. There we go. Now, I also wonder if that transfers to everybody. If my character, does she have that power up or does all my characters have that? And that's something that we could check out fairly easily. Let's just switch to him really quickly and run him through there. Yep. So he has it. That's really cool. I would probably tend to lean towards either this guy or the girl just for the fact oh ouch just for the fact of having the range attack i think makes it a lot easier now how far does his okay his magic doesn't go as far as her arrows her arrows seem to go across the whole board oh gosh uh, nope, ouch. That hurt. Oh gosh. Eh. That. Oh. 
I have to get every little crystal here. Oh, that's catching up. That was catching up to me. A little worrisome there. I, you know, I'm going to switch back to her. I really like her as a character. Now I just got to figure out how to get... Oh, okay. I got the... There we go. I got this key, so that's going to let me go in here. That's what I was missing. Oh, oh, they're falling platforms. Button is going to... Okay, that's cool, and that also allows me to go down, so I really don't have to... anymore go to that other screen. Wow, I don't know what all these things do, but that's a lot of those little sparklies there. Ooh, there's still some more over here. A slime? Cool. Oh, he's fast, too. So the characters and the different differenting characters is actually pretty cool so far. I'm really impressed with the not only the characters you're playing, but the enemies are fairly diverse already. I'll keep on hitting that. Oh, there are spikes there. I knew it. I just didn't react quick enough. Yeah, I like those little... Oh, oh, okay. Those are in the foreground. That kind of flipped me out there for a second. There's that ghost there thing. That ghost thing is getting... A little too close to me. A little too close for comfort. Look at that Medusa skull in the background is amazing. I love that. That's awesome. So I'm really impressed with the game. It does definitely have a retro feel to it. I like there's a diverse set of characters and a diverse set of enemies already that have very distinct attack patterns, very distinct feel to them the graphics are also extremely retro feeling as well i'm just overall impressed with the game here oh shoot ran right into it yeah i wonder what that little inspect does this jump looks quite high uh lighter person might be able to jump off the wall to reach greater heights maybe she is the only one that can do the double jump I wonder if that is what that little sock red thing in her up by her health is actually. So there is a button up there we, we will have to get to at some point. And I'm not sure if we can get to it or not. I would like to kill that eye, ouch, that eye thing, but I'm, oh, I need something uh yeah i'm not gonna be able to get up there right now i'm gonna have to find another way to do it okay well there's our friends again that's kind of cool i wonder if i could i want to test something out here and see exactly who jumps the highest or if there is a see i don't know they all seem to be relatively equal in their jumps but he cannot jump off the wall can the blue guy jump off the wall so no so the the red girl is the only one that could wall jump but she he has a defensive a little shield next to his and i wonder how that matters and what that does but I need to go then. I need to go this way here and get rid of all of these little ghosts here before. Ah, ah. There we go. Trying to just get it on one side of me so that I can kill it. I'm a little worried about where they drop off there. So I kind of was jumping a little excessively there three hits and I am not going to get those and what is inspect look below the clawed hand the clawed hand I wonder if that's where the secret was they're trying to let me know about that oh there's a lot of little breakables I didn't realize I love these little torches here as well they're really nicely done 
I can't see them. I don't know where they are. Oh, I was really worried about. There we go. Now that got me a key, but I'm not sure what that did for me to be honest. Because I don't see another. Maybe there was one. Oh, shoot. I'm well, we're going to have to find out here shortly. What happens when we die? Kill him. Okay, he's going to have to come over here and then go. I can't shoot through the wall, unfortunately. So that little snake thing is going to have to go over that way. There we go. So that we can shoot off a couple. Now, was there another keyed somewhere that I am missing here? I don't recall there being another keyed. Oh, shoot. That's not good. We died. I wonder how that affects the game here, but I am very impressed with this game so far. Ooh, this looks very, very scary. Al Algus, Epiphanus, have I died? Indeed, you and your comrades have perished in the Tower of Serpents. No, I failed. Get up. I shall send you back or have you forgotten our pact? Ooh, I help you fulfill a promise and you bestow me your soul. Well, that's a foolish barter, I must say. Ha <laughs> ha. But my power is not yours to exploit. I grow ever impatient with you, Algus. Once you and your friends succeed in the Tower of Serpents, I will collect your soul. I don't care about my fate. Take me back. Very well. Is there anything else? New deals are available. That's wow. So we can do health up. Sure. Let's do that. That's going to be useful. And let's see what this inner fire does. Yes. The fire inside you is burning strong, yet too much of it will consume you. Wow, that's okay. That's interesting. <laughs> what does this do? Okay, I could actually raise her stuff up too. Wow, this is pretty cool. I like how they're doing this. So we attack speed, strength up, defense up, or attack speed. Well, I don't have enough for those two. Let's go ahead and go strength up, and I want to see if basically the same thing for each one let's go ahead and give him a strength up as well here we go and i think that's about all i could do right now and then that's going to send us back to here that pack thing is really interesting and i'm curious how that's going to affect the game i wonder what the story is behind that pack now Oh shoot, yeah, I'm gonna fall here. I wonder how much damage we are doing now. Now that I did my strength up here. Oh, we're doing 16 now. Wow, that's a big deal. I wonder if this guy will say something different down here with the... Was it over here? I think I... No, it wasn't. Yeah, maybe it was up here. To where that... That 16 is going to make a huge difference in my ability to just, nope. I'm trying to remember where that statue was because I would like to see his response to it because that was the, that is the evil dude. I think that I was just talking to. So we need to pick up these. That's going to be very important. Was it? I think it might have been this way. Oh gosh, I jumped badly. I jump up there. We go. Yeah, I'm thinking that the floatiness, floatiness of the characters actually seem to be working pretty well in this game. Shoot, that was a bad jump there. I thought I could jump over it. I like how she's sitting on the background. That's pretty cool. Very neat effect there. No. Was it? That was the secret right there, but he can't get to it. Okay, so it was only 
she can only get to it. That's very interesting. And why that it why would it be that way? That's quite interesting. So I wonder we need to go back. Ah, shoot. All right, we need to be better. Oh, come on. Got hit twice there. All right. I have the key still, so I just got to find where that key is needed. I should have picked those up. Now, there we go. Not this way. Oh, gosh. Wow, we're about to die already. This is not going well. So we go up. I'm thinking it's the only other way to go is up here with this slime. Oh gosh. Slime guy is a very fast. Oh, <clears throat> shoot. Oh, wow. That's not good. Oh, there's the key there. Okay. That's where I need to be. It looks like, but I'm not sure I'm going to make that over here. There we go. We got that. Her, this range is definitely going to help me here. I jump. Oh, there we go. Whew, that was kind of tight. What is up here? It looks like a whole lot of evil. Oh, I didn't even see that guy up there. No, I can do this. Are we going to go through this whole thing again? Okay, no, we're not going to grab... I don't think we're gonna grab anything right now. Let's just go ahead and go out. I really would like to see what's up there because this is definitely an interesting game. I would like to see much, much more of it. Okay, we make this jump here. And we went ahead and opened up the, oh, we're down to 14. So uh, the flame, actually increased our damage for a little bit. That's what it did. The fire did that. So we've just got to be knowing that that's what that does. And too much of it will probably cause us to burn up or die or something. Ah, shoot, there we go. We got around, I gotta be careful though gonna have to go over here it looks like because that the strength maybe have moved it up a couple I'm not exactly sure I think I was doing 11 damage with the one to attack up and then the strength added three to it and then the the fire thing added a couple to it. Can I just get through? I really like the incredible range that she has on her. I like also that you can hit these torches or late save them for later. See if I can get that. There we go. I want to get go ahead and get this health. Here we go. But there, her range is just extremely helpful here. Definitely outweighs the disadvantage of the speed of the attack. And then also her ability to double jump or not double jump, but wall jump is very useful as well. Kind of wish I could bend down and shoot these guys on their head. Okay, we broke that. These will probably take this door out here if I hit all these, but I wonder what's up. That door goes away and we are probably out of time, unfortunately. Oh, this owl. Wow, he went down quick, but that was pretty cool. Unfortunately, we are out of time, but this game definitely has a lot going for it. And I really enjoy this. Come on, get up out of there. And we will be checking probably more of this out later on. So it looks like we have 
a few things here again that magic above us the wall here that has to be sliced so it does is using the characters effectively which i also like that is very cool and there's definitely a lot of very interesting enemies here to fight can i just wait until he throws that there we go oh gosh i'm getting too close to him oh gosh he's tough one if i stand on that little pedestal it's much easier to shoot hit him there we go oh what did that that was kind of cool but that's going to be all for our episode today thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it i feel that this is a game that we're gonna to have to come back to after we go through these demos but uh thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and i will see you all next time bye everybody